everyone and welcome back to Passion Sundays, the best way to end the week and start another. Our guest today is a phenomenally interesting person. He's the world's leading intuitive viewer. He works with governments, with the police, and he worked with different organizations and universities, helping them decipher what intuition means. Martin Zoller. Martin. Mustafa, thank you for having me here. Thank you very Pleasure much. Pleasure to be with you. Thank you. I mean, what an interesting take on passion today. I mean, we're talking about intuition and my understanding is that you have uh, scientifically proven in a way and worked with uh, finding missing planes, finding missing Mis people, uh, and all of this started with a passion that when you were young. Yeah, for, for me, I'm very, I feel very blessed because I really can use my passion, my, my talent helping other people, which in my case, is the, the power of intuition. Intuition is something all of us ha all of us have, but many don't know how to use it. So I'm using my intuition to help other people. I did a lot of work, um, as you said, finding. Uh, I found a missing plane in 1999. It's recorded by the press. I was working with institutions. I gave lectures at universities. I was working with government before uh, before elections to help them to coach the candidate. So I found a way to use the power of intuition in a very grounded and in a very I must almost say scientific logical way because for many people it's still very difficult to understand but if they see that it really works helping to find objects and people there is no way how to doubt it because the proofs are there okay and uh, how did you actually know that this is truly your passion because a lot of people get into things when they think it's their passion but they they just fizzle away from it and especially when you're talking about something like being intuitive i mean that's not you know easy you, you might have went to your parents and say hey i'm passionate about remote viewing and especially back in the days um well i, I went to india in the 1990s and i just knew that i have to do something for myself which was was to develop my intuition i followed my dreams i followed my inner visions who showed me clearly what path to go and if people ask me what is your work I always say I don't work. I do what I love to do, what I do from my heart, and I have an income with it. And that's for me living with my passion. If I know that what I do is really for my inner self, and I do that now for more than 25 years, I still do it with passion, I still do it with love, I still do it with a lot of inspiration. So for me there is no doubt that this is my passion because I do it so so long and I still love to do it. Nice. Well, I mean, you, you make it sound like a lot of fun and I'm sure it is now as, as your whole field of uh, intuitive viewing and remote viewing and predicting lost planes and, and lost people is becoming more scientifically acceptable by universities and you know Olympic committees. However, I'm sure when you started that journey, you must have been ridiculed a lot and it must have took a lot of passion for you to stay on that path when you believe that what you're doing is right. Exactly. This is very important. This was a very important tool. And then I had the, um, the, the good momentums where I could prove that this really exists, like when I found this plane, which was uh, published all around South America in the news. When I helped to find missing people, which was also published in Europe and in South America. If you go on my website, you can find lots of press articles about these cases. So this showed me that what I do is really true. I saw in the reaction of the people I worked with, in the way I could help them, I saw that it's true for them too, because it brought them in a good way and in a good direction. And I had so many proofs since then and I'm also asking from life from the universe from time to time to give me new indications that yes there is a support there is a help with with my inner self and then I get new proofs which also help me to stay on the way mm, I see so it's not it's not easy to always know what is your passion you'd have to be more intuitive about your passion yeah and for me meditation is a very important tool that to feel and to know yes what you do today is still the right way because we live in a such a fast world in a such fast reality that it's very easy to get away from the track and if we live only focused to the outside if we only get our inputs from 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 our surrounding it's easy to get lost that's why from time to time, it's imp and I meditate daily, but it's important to really focus on yourself, to feel, is that what I do today is still my passion? Mm -hmm. Is that what I do today is still my vision? And if there is a positive, positive reaction to those questions, then you know you're on the right path. I see my, I, to me, uh, following your intuition and your passion is like being in a car with a GPS. 
yeah. me as Martin, I'm in the car, my intuition, my inner self is uh, the GPS and as soon I see the way I'm still going is right and brings me in a good direction and it still feels good from my heart and from like what you said passion I know yes you're still on the right direction I love it so your passion is your GPS it is it's a very important tool it's one of the very important tools my passion my heart plus my intuition I would say are the best team amazing <laughs> what, a, what an amazing way to conclude this interview Martin thank you very much for being here with us today Thank you very much. It was a pleasure and an honor for me. Thank you very much. Thank you. Passion! What do you think? I would really love to hear your opinion. So please do leave your comments on the blog below. And if you found this episode as useful and as exciting as I did, share it with your friends. And if you'd like more tools, tips, techniques, and exclusive interviews that I only share on my website, go to mustafa.com. And until next episode, live passionately.